Hi, Mr. Watt here. In this video, we're going to read a piece of student writing called Why Did the South Stay Agricultural? And we're going to be addressing the problem of the dangerous you. The other day, we looked at a paper where the real problem was the unassigned they. The unassigned they is a sentence where you have the pronoun uh, they in it, and you're not clear what that pronoun refers to. That can lead to confusion for your reader. But this is a much more dangerous problem for you, the writer. If you have a word like you in the middle of a formal paper, you put yourself at significant risk of losing the interest uh, of your reader and, in fact, gaining their antagonism. In this particular case, our writer has been talking about the period between the uh, Mexican War and the Civil War, 1846 or so, 1847, to about 1860, the rise of King Cotton. And I haven't reproduced his entire text because the problem is here in the second paragraph. He's talking about slavery. And he says that there were many reasons why the South or the Southern states remained agricultural. And he says that one of the reasons is the cotton gin. Raw cotton was filled with seeds. Your slaves had to remove these seeds by hand, which was difficult and slow labor for many hands. The cotton gin mechanized this process, so only a few slaves were needed to do this work. Although this sped up the process, it did not eradicate the fact that you needed to have slaves to plant and harvest the cotton. Now, I want the writer here to know that I am a 21st century American, and I do not believe that human beings should hold other human beings in chattel, and I am deeply offended, deeply offended at the idea that I have slaves and that my slaves live on a farm, and they remove seeds by hand. And I am particularly offended that if, my, that if I adopted this technology, that I would still need to own slaves to do other parts of the work. The dangerous you, I, I want to make it clear that I'm not in fact offended. This is a common writing problem for many students, that they put the word you in, and automatically associate whatever it is that they are talking about, positive or negative, with the reader, usually the teacher. And as a result, they wind up losing the interest and attention of their reader because they have accidentally or deliberately offended their reader. Whenever possible, try to avoid the second person pronoun, you or your. They don't really belong in formal writing. It's better in this case to say a plantation owner's slaves in the 1830s had to remove these seeds by hand, which was, a, which was difficult and slow labor for many hands. The cotton gin mechanized this process, so only a few slaves were needed to do this work. Although this sped up the process, it did not eradicate the fact that slaves were still forced to plant and harvest the cotton. By doing this, I've introduced a time, I've introduced who's controlling the slaves, and I have made it clear that slaves are still involved in the process without actually antagonizing my reader which ideally is something that I want to do. I want to engage my reader, not upset him or upset her. Hope this helps you become a better writer.